Welcome everyone. In this video, we are in the Great League showcasing some more fun battles featuring Sableye. Sableye is so strong in the Great League, guys, and uh, this is an XL Sableye. And I gotta say, one of the most common questions I get uh, in regards to the Great League is, will my non-XL Sableye do well? And the, the answer is yes, guys. Although XL is nice to have, it's nice to have that added bulk, your uh, non-XL Sableye will perform just fine. Uh, um, in all honesty, both variations kind of balance each other out. As the XL has a little bit more bulk, while the non-XL hits a little bit harder. So it kind of balances out. And um, I had a blast with this team today. It is extremely powerful, guys. And um, Sableye on this team will be in the safe swap position. And also on this team, we've got Walrain, everyone's favorite. Large, cuddly walrus is back to dominate in the Great League. Walrain's going to be the lead on this team. Walrain, despite the introduction of the newly buffed Zap Cannon, Reggie Steele, Walrain can still do extremely well in the Great League. It is just that powerful. Uh, so Walrain's going to make for a very strong lead. It is extremely spammy. It applies uh, very hard-hitting fast or charge move pressure between its Community Day move of Icicle Spear, which it can get to at a very fast rate, and uh, Earthquake for the coverage where Icicle Spear would be resisted. Uh, so wall rain is amazing. You pick up a lot of solid leads with wall rain and also on this team We've got toxicroak in the back. Why toxicroak? Um, why not? It's it's a strong Pokemon especially with the introduction of Reggie Steel or the reintroduction I should say toxicroak uh, is finding a lot more play in the Great League Especially if you don't have other options like XL Metacham, which we do have um, but I wanted to run Toxicroak because I love that it has Mud Bomb um, and it hits very hard. You really want to preserve a shield advantage for it to close the game strong. Um, but if you did want to use your XL Metacham in the place of Tox Toxicroak, you absolutely could do that. But without further ado, guys, let's hop into this first battle. And already we are met with a not so good lead in Defense Form Deoxys. So the way I like to play these types of leads is I stay in and um, I just lose lead, guys. That is the only way to really play a lead like Defense Form Deoxys. Uh, same goes for Metacham as well. So you lose lead, you get as much damage off as you can. And you look to come in with your Sableye and look to farm all the way down. So they take us out with a Thunderbolt, and that is okay. We're going to come in with our Sableye, and they meet us with a Drapion. So here we go, guys. This is why Toxic Rogue is strong in the current uh, meta for the Great League. It does extremely well against the fighters and the opposing uh, poison types. Uh, more so for the poison types, especially because it does have access to Mud Bomb. So we're going to look to get off this Mud Bomb after tanking the Resisted Crunch. And oh, that takes out the Drapion. Expecting them to come back in with Deoxys. We're going to just let this fly, guys. We're not going to shield our Toxicroak because it did its job. It got rid of the Dark Poison type, which Sableye really doesn't want to see. So we're going to go in and put all our hope and faith into our Sableye as we know that uh, it absolutely dominates Defense Form Deoxys, especially since it has sharply uh, dropped its attack with the Psycho Boost. That does nothing to Sableye. And they've got a wall rain of their own in the back. So we've got to play this the right way, guys. Um, we really got to play this the right way. We went we went for the return just in case they're a little crazy and don't want to shield up potential uh, hard-hitting moves. But they're not crazy. They are shielding. So we're going to build up to another return and look to go for the foul play. If they call this, it'll still do uh, a lot of neutral damage as Sableye hits like a truck. But we grab that last shield. That is amazing. So now all we have to do is get to another return. They are one Powder Snow off from their next Icicle Spear, which would KO. We're going to shield up this first one. And we are one Shadow Claw off and we win CMP. That is amazing, guys. We get to the return. This is going to be landing on the large cuddly walrus, taking it out. And all we have to do is get to a foul play on this Deoxys. And it is lights out, guys. Sableye 
coming in clutch, putting the team on its back, and closing this game strong. You don't get much better than that, Sableye. My goodness, that's going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. All right, hopping in to the next match. Let's see what we have. Needle Queen lead. This is a good lead for Walrein. As Needle Queen with that part ground typing is taking super effective from our ice type damage. They make an aggressive play in the Umbreon, and here we go. It is Toxicroak time in the Great League. You love to see it. They did build up to a potential psychic, guys. I know the one time I decided to call it, they one shot me with a uh, psychic. So better to play it safe and shield up. What could be a potential psychic but it was just a last resort so it's good to know that we don't need to shield anything else from here on out we got off a uh, sludge bomb and farmed it down now we have loaded energy for this needle queen and uh, we're gonna look to get off this super effective mud bomb that is um gonna do quite a bit to the very tanky nick needle queen and they decide to no shield that knowing that they can tank one we're gonna go for another one before they can get off a poison jab and uh, this will likely draw the shield, and it does. So we're going to make an aggressive play back in the wall ring, guys. And the reason why we did that is because Nita Queen leads often always come accompanied with two dark types in the back. So we wanted to preserve our Toxic Croak just in case there was another dark type. And wouldn't you know, guys, they got a Scrafty in the back. So we're going to look to play this out. We're not going to shield anything from this Scrafty. We're just going to look to get off as much damage as we can with these Icicle Spears. They do start to add up on the Scrafty, so it's likely that we may draw a shield, and we do. That is amazing, guys. We now have a shield advantage, and they take us out just before we could get to that icicle spear but that is okay no need to shield anything from this uh scrafty as all of its uh charge moves are resisted with our poison fighting typing and we look to farm down but they make an aggressive play back into the nido queen this is fine guys this is just a resisted poison jab we will survive long enough to get off this super effective mud bomb and uh, this will definitely be taking out the Nido Queen. And now we are in cruise control, guys. We've got our Sableye, and that Scrafty can do nothing to us with uh, a shield advantage. And uh, they saw the writing on the wall. They conceded the match. That's going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. And we are off to a strong start with Sableye in the Great League. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, do give the video a like, as that really is the best thing you could really do to help this channel grow. All right, hopping into the next match. Let's see what we have here. Bastiodon. Oh, man, not a great lead for us, but we can really threaten with uh, double super effective earthquakes. So we're going to stay in and play this out a little bit. And uh, we are taking super effective damage from the fast move pressure. And they panic and they swap in the Metacham. So we built up to 100 energy before going into our Sableye. Knowing that Metacham with an energy lead on Sableye, it doesn't really matter because it can't really threaten us. That Psychic does nothing with our Dark Typing. So we're going to need to build up here a little bit and uh, throw our Foul Play. This will not KO, but it will leave the Metacham with, a li with enough health for us to get a nice healthy farm on it. Not going to shield anything from this Metacham. Uh, it poses very little threat to us. That's just a resisted power-up punch. Not a big deal. Going to farm it all the way down. We're, we're, now we're expecting them to come in with that Bastion on. That Bastion does have loaded energy. It would be great if it threw its energy, but most Bastiodons will not do that. So we're going to just spam off as many foul plays as we can to really chip away at this health. We have successfully flipped switch advantage so it, once this bastion on farms us down we can easily come in with our toxic croak and go to work on this bastion on uh, so we're just getting we're actually uh really uh chipping away at this bastion on here gonna come in with our toxic croak um, expecting them to blind throw uh, they might be expecting the wall rain and they do blind throw the resisted stone edge you love to see it they've got a toxic croak of their own in the back I for sure thought that there was going to be a Sableye back there, but this is okay, guys. They're going to look to farm us down, but this is why we built up to to 100 energy before swapping out. 
so that we could really threaten what they have in the back. And we grab both of those shields with our wall rain. That is amazing. That is the power of wall rain in the Great League. You love to see it. Going to get to a third icicle spear, and we will not get to a fourth. But that is okay, guys. We grabbed both shields and got this Toxic Croak below 50% health with our wall rain. Wall rain is officially broken, guys. You love to see it. Going to shield up this mud bomb and look to get rid of this opposing Toxic Croak with a mud bomb of our own. And we are now officially in cruise control as that we do have a shield and that Bastiodon uh, can't really do a whole lot. And they know that, so uh, they decide to save everyone some time and concede the match. That's going to be yet another good game. Well played to this battler. All right, let's see what we have up next. Gliscor, shiny Gliscor. Whoa, you don't see these uh, too often in the Open Great League, but uh, we're fine with that. And they make an aggressive play and do Reggie Steel. And here we go, guys. Toxicroak time yet again. Uh, we just really have to be careful for that massively hard hitting Zap Cannon. We're going to look to get off a Mud Bomb. They know Shield because they can tank one. But uh, we don't really want to tank a Zap Cannon. I, I really wasn't sure how much damage it would do. So uh, we err on the side of caution and shield it up. It's not going to make it to another move before we can farm down. So that is amazing. Expecting that Glide score to come back in. And uh, all of our charge moves and fast and uh, fast moves are resisted. So we're just going to go for the hardest hitting move with Stab. And that does a decent amount of resisted damage on the ground type Glide score. Uh, even more so considering that we have been debuffed. So uh, they're going to throw some energy. So we're going to tank this and go into our Sableye. We're not, we don't want them to farm us down. And they've got a Talon Flame in the back. And uh, they are up a shield. So this is okay, guys. As long as we can get this Talon Flame uh, within farm down range for our wall rain, we will do just fine. We do grab a shield with that first foul play. Going to no shield the first flame charge as uh, XL Sableye tanks that no problem. And I'm uh, going to look to get off another foul play. If they want to go down on shields, that's fine too. Um, but if they let this go, this will do a, a lot of neutral damage. And it does. That is amazing, guys. They farm us down, but that we accomplished our goal. We're going to throw a Toxicroak in here to force them to throw some energy. And uh, they do. And that is quite all right, guys, because we've got our wall rain in the back. We can farm this Talon Flame all the way down. And all they have left is that Glide score. We've got back-to-back -back Icicle Spears here. And uh, this game is just about over, guys. Wall Rain is dominating in the Great League as intended. We take out the Glide score with double super effective Icicle Spear, and we seal the deal. That's going to be yet another good game. Well played to this battler. Again, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to give the video a like, as that really is the best way to help this channel grow now let's see what we have up next here green it lead you don't see too many of these uh we do lose the zero shield scenario and we're okay with that we just want to just play this out we don't want to shield anything if they decide to shield to preserve their lead uh that is okay we're fine with that so we're gonna play this out knowing that we do lose the zero shield scenario which means that uh no one shields uh, you just throw your charge attacks, and uh, we're just going to keep going Icicle Spear here, as that is the more energy-efficient way to go. Um, and they are throwing or uh, farming up quite a bit to um, get to a Body Slam, and it's not going to KO, but we will not be able to survive one more Body Slam. But they will not be able to farm us down before we get to another move, so they throw with beautiful timing just before uh, we get to the next Icicle Spear and they take us out, that's okay. We're fine with that. We're going to come in with Toxic Rook and look to farm down. And uh, not sure really what they would have in the back. That's a very uh, um, not that's not a very common lead greeting, but they happen to have a Defense Form Deoxys in the back. Uh, a Psycho Boost would hurt. It doesn't KO, but uh, at full power, it absolutely hurts. We do get off a Sludge Bomb. That chunks quite a bit. Um, and we're going to put all of our hope and faith into Sableye, knowing that we have strong neutral matchups up against uh, most of the Great League. So we let them throw, and we make an aggressive play into our Sableye to get ahead on energy. And they've got a Swampert in the back. So we've got to play this the right way, guys. We are still even on shields. 
The beauty of XL Sableye is we can tank a Hydro Cannon. They can't quite comfortably tank a Foul Play along with the Shadow Claw damage. So we are going to shield up the first one. We know that they're going to outpace us to another one. We're going to tank this one knowing that we can. That is the beauty of XL Sableye, of course. And uh, we need two foul plays. So we know that they win CMP tie, and um, that is okay. We are going to have to shield up the next um, Hydro Cannon, and we are going to get to it at the same time. We hit our move, so they cannot catch this foul play, which means that we take out the Swampert, guys. And uh, both of our remaining Pokemon have very low health, but so does that Defense Form Deoxys in the back. We're going to get rid of the Swampert. We say bye-bye, Swampert. Going to just chip away with some Shadow Claws, and we know that our Toxicroak was just one fast move away from the Mud Bomb, which will be more than enough to take out the Defense Form Deoxys, which seals the deal for us, and we take the game. That's going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. And that is the end of the first set of this video, guys. We got more coming your way. 5-0 with this Sableye, Walrein, Toxicroak team. What a strong team. And I just built it just this morning. And my goodness, did it far exceed my expectations. You don't get much better than that. All right, hopping into the next match here. Let's see what we have. Shadow Victory Bell. Awful lead for us, but uh, we got to just stay in here. We can't really swap out because if we swap in the Toxicroak, they're going to counter swap us. But they look to catch the Icicle Spear onto a Mag Cargo in the Open Great League. What is going on here? Holy smokes. So we're going to go into our Toxicroak. And uh, we don't want to get debuffed with a Rock Tomb or take tons of damage from an Overheat. So we're just going to get rid of it. We are still relatively healthy. That Mag Cargo didn't even get off a move. And they come back in with the uh, Victory Bell. Um, and we're going to tank this, expecting to, it to be an Acid Spray. But it's a Resisted Leaf Blade that KOs. That is unbelievable. And they farm down our Wall Rain. Oh my goodness. All we have left is our Sableye. And they've got a Agron in the back. What am I seeing here? This is unbelievable, guys. Holy smokes. Oh, we have entered the spice zone in the open Great League. My goodness. But this uh, fast move pressure is really starting to add up on our Sableye. We're going to throw another foul play here, expecting to get the last shield because I would imagine uh, Agron is pretty glassy in the Great League. And we're just not going to be able to get there. The Agron farms us down with fast moves. Didn't even get to use a shield. My goodness. That was unbelievable. But good game. Well played to this battler. All right. Hopping into the next match. Let's see what we have here. Altaria. All right. Very favorable lead for our Wall Rain. And they make an aggressive play into Sableye. So... This is a bit tricky because we can't come in with Toxicroak and we don't want to be even on shields and health with our own Sableye. So we're going to look to chip at the health or grab a shield, which we did there. And uh, we're going to look to get off another Icicle Spear before swapping out of this matchup into our own Sableye for the Mirror matchup. They let that through. That is amazing. So because they let that through... We can tank a foul play because we don't want to be too healthy for the Altaria that will most likely come back in. So we're going to tank that, shield up the second one, and then look to go for a hard farm on this opposing Sableye. So we are now even on shields, but our Sableye has loaded energy for whatever comes back in. It is the Altaria. We have nearly back-to-back -back foul plays. So two foul plays with Stab will do more damage than one return. So we are going to go for the back-to-back. -back. Not expecting a shield as uh, they may be seeing their Altaria as a little bit of dead weight, knowing that we have a wall rain on our team. So they're going to just likely look to farm us down and load up our energy. But that's okay. We can come back in with our wall rain and look to farm this Altaria all the way down. But they bank a move and go into Azumarill. So this is a tricky back line for our team here, but we're going to look to chip away at the health on the very tanky Azumarill before making a play into our Toxicroak. Uh, going to tank this because we need to save a shield. We know that that Altaria has a move. We don't want to tank a super effective sky attack on our Toxicroak. So we're going to try our very best to get to another Earthquake. Holy smokes. 
Those bulk points on our wall rain are coming through for us. We get to another earthquake. We grab that shield, and it is Toxicroak time. Here we go. This is uh, just a foul play. Gonna tank it. We can tank it. What we can't tank is a uh, sky attack from that Altaria. So going to look to get rid of this Azumarill with a super effective Sludge Bomb. And now our health is really low, but we do still have a shield. We're going to try and counter down the Altaria. We can't quite do it, but we got it low. We sneak through a Powder Snow. That is amazing. Because we got that fast move through, all we have to do is shield up the sky attack and we win the game. My goodness, what a fun battle. Wall rain coming in clutch in the end. That's going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. What a crazy battle. Again, if you like what you're seeing, do remember to give the video a like as that really is the best way to help this channel grow. All right, let's see what we have up next here. I had a blast with this team today. Such a strong team. And we've got a Shadow Nidoqueen on the lead. So favorable lead for us. They take super effective damage from our Ice-type damage. And they make a play into Umbreon. So here we go. We go into our Toxicroak. And again, they built up to a potential Psychic. Guys, I know the one time I know Shield, they will one-shot with a Psychic. So we do Shield. It is just the last resort. So that is okay. We're fine. We're okay. Uh, just going to look to play this out. We don't need to shield the next one. We can tank it. Going to look to get off the uh, mud or sludge bomb, and that does quite a bit. That nearly KOs the very bulky Umbreon Toxicroak hits like a truck. Uh, going to tank this last resort and look to farm down. We have loaded energy for this Nidoqueen Queen that is coming back in on us. Going to look to get to back to back mud bombs. Um, if they tank both of these mud bombs, it will KO. Um, but we do grab a shield there. That's okay. We get to the next one, and this will be doing quite a bit of super effective damage if they decide to no shield it. And uh, they, oh, they let it go. That is good. Okay. So this is a uh, this is farm down range for our wall rain. Uh, gonna tank this poison fang, and um, we do faint to an invisible poison jab. Gonna look to farm down, but they've got a meta champ in the back, and it is over. Oh my goodness, it is lights out, guys. They took one look at our sable eye and they said, No way, I am out of here. That's gonna be another good game. Well played to this battler. All right, let's see what we have next here. Metacham, not the best lead. So I do, uh, at some point, we're going to look to make a play into our Toxicroak. Uh, not Sableye, because Sableye is our best answer to this Metacham, and you never want to safe swap into your best answer. So we're going to look to chip with an Icicle Spear and let them throw this energy. So the reason why we stayed in on this bad lead is we want to come in with our Toxicroak with a health advantage. So here we go. We go into our Toxicroak. They swap out into a Needle Queen Shadow. Uh, not the best answer to Toxicroak, guys. This is not a good answer. Even though we are a fighting type, we have access to a super effective Mud Bomb, which we can get to pretty fast. We do grab a shield on the first one. Going to look to get off the second one. And this is a Shadow Needle Queen. So if this lands, it'll do quite a bit. Oh, my goodness. That nearly takes out the Needle Queen. That is amazing. We can tank whatever this is. It is is just a resisted poison fang not a big deal gonna look to farm down the poison type with our counters you'd love to see it they come back in with metacham gonna look to get off this mud bomb and uh, if this if this lands it will not ko but the metacham will be extremely low and that does land that is amazing so now uh we're gonna come in with our sable eye we're gonna tank this this metacham can do nothing to our sable eye uh, we resist everything but the Ice Punch, and that does nothing to us. And they've got an Umbreon in the back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's getting sweaty, guys. Not going to lie. Getting a little tricky. Our, our uh, Wall Rain is not very healthy, and this bulky Umbreon is extremely healthy. So what we have to do to give ourselves the best shot at winning this game is really i we have to grab that last shield and we need to get this umbreon within foul play range guys 
that is asking a lot of our wall rain, but my goodness, wall rain is a monster. So we're going to look to get off another icicle spear. We're just spamming icicle spears just as fast as we can get to them, guys. We got to grab that last shield, and we got to get it low enough to where a foul play, plus maybe a few shadow claws will take out the Umbreon. We grabbed the last shield, so here we go. It is, med it is uh, Sableye time. We, uh, we are XL. So we can comfortably tank two of these neutral foul plays from Umbreon because Umbreon does not hit very hard. We will survive another foul play, but not with much health, guys. So we got to get off this foul play and uh, it's not going to KO because Umbreon is an absolute tank. Going to look to get it off. Does not KO, but can we Shadow Claw down? They make an aggressive play into their Metacham and we're going to try and Shadow Claw down and we do. Oh my gosh, we we both simultaneously KO'd, but our wall rain was still alive in the back, which means we win the game. My goodness, what a crazy battle. What a fun battle. That's going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. That last battle was a crazy one. My goodness, but let's see what we have. Reggie Steele lead, not the best lead for us. Going to go into Sableye and look to play this out here. Uh, Sableye does beat Registeel, actually one of the few Pokemon that beat Registeel, but they make an aggressive play into an Azumarill. Very good answer to Sableye, but this is why we have Return, guys. That Return really hits hard, and it draws a shield from the very bulky Azumarill. So they did build up to a potential play rough. Gotta shield this up, guys. We gotta do some damage on this Azumarill here, guys. So we will go shield for shield. They have to They have to tank a return. There's no other way, guys. We gotta get some damage off on this Azu here. Um, so we're gonna look to go for another return. And they shield again. My goodness, what do they have in the back? Um, so we're going to match that shield and look to get off another return on this Azumarill. They will not outpace us to another foul play because we do have an energy advantage. They tried to catch it on their Registeel. We're not letting that happen, guys. Nice try, but uh, no such luck for you, sir. And uh, <clears throat> going to tank this uh, Zap Cannon. We can tank it. Toxicroak's not completely made of paper. Going to look to get off the super effective Mud Bomb. This, of course, will not ta ta uh, KO the very tanky Registeel, but the counters will really start to add up on it, and they have to throw a move if they want to preserve switch advantage, and that is okay because we can now come back in with our Sableye and look to farm this Registeel all the way down because Sableye with loaded energy is absolutely lethal in the Great League. So, if they come back, whatever they come in with, we're blind throwing this return. It happens to be an Altaria. So, this is actually looking pretty good for us, guys. Going to come in the wall rain. They come back in with Azumarill. But this Azumarill is not healthy enough to do uh, a whole lot to win this matchup with our wall rain. All we need to do is land an Earthquake, and uh, it will be over. Uh, so we're going to build up a little extra because we we want to have an Icicle Spear ready for the Altaria to really seal the deal and uh, end this game uh, in dominant fashion. We get to the Icicle Spear. This is lights out for the Flying Dragon type Altaria. We say bye-bye, Altaria. And we say good game. Well played to this battler, guys. Holy smokes. This team is so strong, guys. My goodness, that is the team. Oh my gosh, is this team strong? And um, I literally just built it this morning, guys. I wanted to I wanted to run uh, Toxicroak, and uh, I was I was uh, theory crafting what would be a good team to build around Toxicroak because Toxicroak has a lot of nice play in the current Great League. As it does have access to Mud Bomb, it can hit the Fairy types for super effective damage with the Sludge Bomb. And uh, it does run counter as its fast move, which is arguably the best fast move in the game. So I wanted to build a solid team around it. I've, I've got a really nice ranked uh, rank 2 Toxicroak for the Great League. And uh, I came up with this one, guys, because I wanted to run Wall Rain as well. I wanted to see... How Wall Rain would still fare with all of the Zap Cannon Reggie Steels running around in the Great League. And we landed on this team, guys, because you rounded out with a solid safe swap in XL Sableye running return. 
Um, and my goodness, guys, this is a strong team. It is so strong. Uh, and all the, the this is a very strong and uh, cohesive uh, team comp when it comes down to team building, guys, because uh, you've got two Pokemon in the back that resist fighting type damage, which is uh, is what Wal Walrein happens to be weak to. Walrein is also weak to grass types. So we've got Toxicroak in the back, which makes a very strong core because Toxicroak with that poison typing will be resisting fighting type damage and it also resists grass type damage. That makes for a very strong core, guys. Toxicroak is also weak to flyers. Uh, Walrein with the ice type fast move pressure and the ice type fast activating charge move courtesy of the community day and icicle spear really cleans up those flyers like you wouldn't believe guys and you round out that strong core with arguably the best safe swap in the great league right now in xl sableye you don't get much better guys so i really wanted to give you guys a strong team because remember guys starting tomorrow at the time of recording this video we will be able to do uh 20 battles per day up until tuesday of next week uh and niantic uh, announced that not too long ago because they really want to give people a strong fighting chance to really accomplish whatever their goals may be. So guys, what better team to run going into this weekend where we can do 20, uh, 20 uh, sets a day? Um, you know, what, what, what stronger team to run with than this one, guys? This team is amazing, guys. So if you've been looking for a strong team to build around either Walreen or Toxicroak, this might be the team for you. This team is extremely powerful. It is very well balanced. It plays a little bit like a pseudo ABB style team. That is the best way to go in Pokemon Go Battle League, guys. Um, I see so many comments. Uh, you really don't want to be running those AB, uh, ABA teams because you really uh, set yourself up for failure with those ABA teams. And what that means is you have one type uh, in the front and you have another type that is weak to something, the same thing in the back, uh, which gives you ABB, ABA. Uh, you want to run ABB. So you have a ice type in the front on this team, for example, and you've got two Pokemon in the back that resist fighting type damage and you've got one that resists the grass type damage. That type of team comp is the best team comp to run in Pokemon Go Battle League. It will set you up for the most success um, and uh, I had a blast with this team. This team is so strong. I can't say that enough, guys. Uh, if you have all three of these Pokemon, definitely give this team a try, guys. If you're really still looking to make a late season push, this is a strong team to run in the Great League. Um, and again, if you don't have an XL Sableye, don't worry about it, guys. Run your non-XL Sableye. It will do just fine in the Great League. So I had a blast, guys. If you liked this video, don't forget to give the video a like because that is truly the best way to help this channel grow. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching and keep up the grind. Thank you, guys.